for the ALDS. We've got the Brewers and Yankees matching up for the first time in the playoffs since 1980. And the Royals were able to get out of a very tight situation. Bases were loaded. Game was tied up in the fifth. They got out of it. They ended up squeezing out another win over the Orioles. And your boy Bobby Witt Jr. and the Royals okay. have punched their tickets to face Aaron Judge and the New York Yankees. This is an exciting matchup because it's just you have a Royals team, as we had talked about last season, 106 losses. And a turnaround and be into the ALDS. Huge, huge turnaround from one season to the next. And this is another team that's really just kind of playing with house money. They've really got nothing to lose. I feel like they're a bit like a year ahead, some could say, for where many expected them to be. You knew they were going to have a turnaround from last season, but you weren't expecting this big of a turnaround. And with how well they played down the stretch of the season, even after, I would say after the All-Star break for the Royals, uh, now going up against the Yankees, who we get to see, to me, the test for the Yankees is that depth. We know what Aaron Judge and Juan Soto bring. But in terms of pitching and in terms of even offensively after them, what do you what are you going to get in the biggest moments? They acquired a Jazz Chisholm Jr. You know they've been adding some pieces around the edges and they've got different guys. Austin like, Wells is going to be in the uh, the Rookie of the Year conversation. Uh, He's been really good definitely. for them. So that's where it comes down to who else can step up for the for the Yankees because as we keep talking about at this point in the season, everybody's got their big hitters. You need the pitching and you need also guys that can help step up you're not winning with just one or two yeah the uh the, the yankees biggest concern my biggest concern for the yankees heading into the stretch run and, and into the postseason was uh how is their bullpen going to track because clay holmes became almost unusable in the yeah. closer role down the stretch um they're gonna go to luke weaver in the high situations now he's been their best pitcher i believe uh all season out of the bullpen uh, their rotation is set to a point because they didn't have to play. So Garrett Cole is going to pitch game one. And I know Garrett Cole, you know, took a little bit of time to get back from the injury. It's still sure. Garrett Cole in the postseason. Uh, yeah. I, I would imagine game two, they're going to go to Rodon before they have to make a decision on uh, who's pitching game three. Um, I like this Royals team a lot. Michael Walker is going to get the start in game one. They'll probably flip the, flip it back. And then you'll get Reagans and Lugo in game two and three. Uh, I like this Royals team a lot. I don't think they're quite ready to win on this stage just yet. They're they're going to be competitive for a while. They've got a lot of really young, good players. Uh, I'm going to take the Yankees in this one. And I just think they're the better overall team. And you're right. Like depth could be tested in terms of how do you uh how do you, you know, press past your top three, four, five hitters. But I think the same could be said for a lot of teams. We're asking the same question yeah. about the Phillies, right? Obviously, their top four or five guys are going to be the driving force. But what does Brandon Marsh provide you? What does Austin Hayes provide you? Exactly. What does Johan Rojas provide you? Bryson Stott and Mundo Sosa. The same could be said for just about every team. Uh, I'm going to take the Yankees in this series. Um, I, I think it's going to be a fun series. The Royals are a, a, a good, they're a much better team than any of us could have anticipated. Uh, but I'm not quite sure they're ready to, to compete on this stage just yet. I'm going to take the Yankees. Yeah, I do feel like the Royals, this is this is one of those uh, runs where, I'm not going to call it a Cinderella run, but you will look at this, you'll learn from this, they'll be excited that they got so close, and I do feel this series could go like four games, I don't know if it's going to go a full five, but I do think the Yankees just have the better team, and they're just more, more prime for um, postseason baseball. You know, I think this is it for the Royals. Their exciting season is going to come to an end, but I do feel like the Royals are a team that's much like kind of we talked about the, with the Orioles prior to them getting bounced, I think they're going to be a team that you're keeping an eye on for the future, that this is going to be an experience that really can help them, you know, in the future. But I do see in the comments, Steve Garrison, you're saying Royals and four small balls going to win. Um, if they were to knock off the Yankees, I could see that too. Listen, but if I, I had I, to put predictions right now, I do feel like it's going to be Yankees and four. I will say this. I think that the Royals were uh, – their pitching staff was sensational in the, in the wild card round against uh, oh, against yeah. Baltimore. You're going to have to score more than three runs every two games. You're going to have to score more than a run and a half per game to beat the Yankees in this series. Um, you know, I, I know that Bobby Witt has been great all year. Uh, Vinny Pasquantino shouldn't probably not even be playing. The, the fact that he has all those stitches still in his hand and he's, he's able to DH is amazing for them. They got a 40-year-old playing first base in his stead, uh, and Yuli Gurriel. Uh, they're, they're a good team. They steal a lot of bags that that's their MO and Steven's right. They're going to play small ball. They, um, obviously Bobby Witt has the power numbers, um, but they're going to play a lot of small ball with guys like Michael Massey, uh, and, and, and that group and, and, um, uh, Mikel Garcia. Um, it's a, again, I, I don't want to discredit this team. It's a good team. They're a feisty team. They're, they, they know, 
uh, how how they want to win. And Matt Quattrero has done a really good job of uh, he might be the you might get three managers in the American League Central as your finalist for manager of the year between him, uh, Stephen Vogt and uh, A.J. Hinch may end up being your top three in, in the American League manager of the year. I just think the Yankees are, are still a better team. I'm going to take the Yankees. I think it does go four or five, uh, but I will take the Yankees to win this series. Yeah, and to your point, the the Royals' inability to score runs against the Orioles, I think you can't, you're not going to win a series against the Yankees in the same way. 